What's on your bucket list? Well, we're filling some of ours this year on the Paris RV Safari, starting with a trip to an advanced tactical gun camp. In addition, we are shooting our way through another bucket list item we take on mine, an absolutely breathtaking jet boat tour through Hell's Canyon, which is the deepest canyon in the United States. And then one more pick, how about zip lining through the beauties of the Yellowstone National Park area for a true aerial adventure. It's all happening now on At Your Leisure. I knew this would get everybody up. Some <laughs> hand-packed sausages on the grill first thing in the morning on the day of our big adventure. Hi everybody, welcome back to your leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and thank you very much for joining us for our RV safari this year. And we have Brett and Dory Paris who are going to be on our safari this year. That's right, they're the hosts of the RV Safari series and for this year, and you know, as we've gone through this through the through the years, and one year we followed the river. We went all the way to Mexico. Another year we followed the coast. And then we followed history going back to, you know, Mount Rushmore and Deadwood and all those yeah. fun places. So yep. this year we're going to follow our hearts. We're going to follow our dreams. We are going to start our series across the West in search of our bucket list. And I know you guys have one. Oh, yes. We do. Take an RV, go shoot guns. Those are both things that are super cool to me. Uh -huh. And uh, Front Sight is just the place to do it uh, down in Southern Nevada. That's true. This is, a, this is a fabulous facility out in the middle of the desert where high-end training goes on. They, you got to go do a background check even to get in the place because they teach people how to do safe firearms, tactical firearms, everything about firearms there in this great big campus out in the middle of the Nevada desert. So that's one of our bucket lists. Rio. Uh, I am going to do zip lines. Uh, you love zip lines. I love zip lines. We've done them in Costa Rica. We've done them uh, back east. We've done them over Lake Mead. We've done them uh, all over the west. Yeah. And so I'm thinking that, like the guy that chases roller coasters, I'd like to go all over the country and ride the top zip lines because I just love sailing through the <laughs> I know you do. You love to fly. And what are you doing? Well, I've always wanted to go up Snake River because I've mm -hmm. heard you can get in jet boats, which you know plenty about, I'm sure, Brett. Yeah. You used to sell little babies. Anyway, I've always wanted to just race up Snake River in a jet boat, so we're going to do that. Splash the rapids? Yep. Well, I think we should get started with that because I hear them firing up the uh, jet boat in the river, so everybody get ready for your sausage. Yum. Great. Thanks, okay, Kat. let's check it out. River Adventures offers a few different things. Uh, we're known mainly for our Hell's Canyon jet boat tours. We do a lot of fishing, uh, fall steelhead fishing as well, and fishing in Hell's Canyon. He's so. huge. Whoa. Oh, rock on, sister. Look at that baby. Uh, you're gonna experience from mild to wild. Uh, the day starts off pretty mellow. Once after lunch, we get up into the upper rapids, have a really good time. The water can fluctuate. It can make class one and two rapids turn into class four and five rapids. <laughs> Love it. Gotta have that snake river water in your face. So we just, uh, you just get the best of both worlds here on the jet boat tour in Hell's Canyon. That's actually Kirkwood, that's five miles up. That's typically our first stop on our tour on the day. Grace and Lynn Jordan lived at Kirkwood. They came down here to survive the depression. So back in the 30s, 40s, uh, this was the largest sheep ranch in the world, this whole river corridor. My great grandparents worked for the company that had the sheep down in here, worked right up in a ranch house right above us. And my great grandpa actually died right here at Pittsburgh Landing in 1971, irrigating hay fields. Well, I care very deeply about it. Obviously, it's my family, it's my family roots. Um, I was born and raised here. This is, this is really my stomping grounds. 
Well, the concrete tub was something that uh, Len Jordan promised his wife, Gracie Jordan, because she said, if you didn't build me a bathtub, I was moving out of the canyon. So he figured out a way to make a concrete bathtub in their house, and it has been a signature piece in Hell's Canyon. It's talked about all over the place. So our tour really incorporates a lot of that history. So it's firsthand history. It came right from my great grandmother before she passed away in 1992. So uh, it's really uh, just an honorful thing to to have that in our family heritage. That was our first stop and then we worked our way up the river. We've seen a lot of different uh, places. We've seen Sturgeon Rock. Um, all along the way, we were fortunate en enough to see a younger bear today. I actually could not believe how close we were to it. And he was so friendly. You could tell he knew we were taking pictures of him and he was just so cute. It was amazing. I've never been that close to a bear. We've seen bighorn sheep, uh, deer, a couple eagles. We've seen the highest point in Hell's Canyon on the Idaho side. We, you know, we showed all the way through there, even up around Granite when we were in the deepest part of Hell's Canyon, 9,393 feet. Stray over there. So there's just so much to see and you really can't just do it in a day. Uh, Hell's Canyon is a wonderful place. It's actually the deepest canyon in North America. Um, so when you come here you can get that feeling only by jet boat. So it's just a really great featured place for Idaho. Uh, I do this because it's something that I've always loved to do. Uh, people do not come here to have a bad time and I really like sharing the history of the canyon. I love fishing. Um, there's just uh, really no other job I'd rather have. Uh, get in contact with us. Uh, you can get a hold of us by just simply uh, hellscanyon.tours or a phone number, which is 1-800-524-9710. Give us a call. Let us know how we can uh, take you guys on an experience of a lifetime. Bucket list item number one is off the list. We've got two more to go. But right now, it's time for us to take a commercial break. We'll be back with more of At Your Leisure in just a minute. And we will see you next week on The County Seat. Put some adventure in your life and attend the Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show, February 14th through the 17th at the Mountain America Expo. See hundreds of new RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, and accessories. Buy at the show and save. Take advantage of special show financing. Find RV accessories, fishing, and RV travel destinations. Gourmet and Dutch oven cooking classes. Register to win an Alaskan fishing trip. ABC4 Utah and CW30 invite you to the RV Show, February 14th through the 17th. Trail to the heart of the backcountry. Discover that ski do feeling with the 2019 Ski Do Trail and Crossover Sleds. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex of South Jordan and West Valley. More than just tune ups, we're off road. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Reagan Ledbetter here with Bacon Bill, and we are making catfish today. I'm so excited. We haven't done fish before. No, to be pre precise, we're doing uh, beer batter catfish. This is a wonderful dish, and we're going to be deep fat frying. Catfish is a great, uh, a great fish to eat, even though it's a bottom feeder. We're going to start with uh, mixing in the bowl. Okay. We've got cornmeal. You want to dump that in? Sure. And the flour. A little salt. Uh, yeah. Is that good? To taste. You haven't tasted it yet. Have well, you? no. <laughs> pepper. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I I know I want salt and pepper in there. So, how's that? Okay. Does that That's, look good? And let's uh, just set that aside for a minute. Okay. 
This man is good too. I saw him, You, it was a full catfish. Like he went out and caught it, and threw it down and gutted it up. I'm gonna break a couple eggs in there. Okay. And just discard the shells over. And I'm gonna pop the uh, old Milwaukee or you can use uh, apple juice, O'Doul's, you can use regular uh, alcoholic beer if you want to stir that. In the meantime, while you're doing that, I will pour that in here. Okay. A recipe is just a guide. I like to kind of modify as we go. Okay, and, uh, all right, well, have, I'm excited. You want to just so, pour that in okay, here? Okay, so the egg goes into the beer. Yeah, and then we've got diced onions to go onions, in. Onions, good job. Do you want me to just dump that whole thing in there? No, we're dumping, putting these in here. All right. And just get those coated. Put those in there one at a time. Okay. Kind of shake off the stuff because we're gonna, going to put them in, flip them over. This is this is kind of fun. I mean, like the kids could help you do this too. Yeah. One thirty. So we've got to get up to three hundred and fifty degrees. The reason why you want it at three hundred fifty degrees is because it'll sear it and it won't absorb that much oil. So you got to get it to three fifty. So temperature of fish, it's about one. It's over one eighty. So we're good, right? Yeah. These are good to go. And you want to cook fish basically until it starts to flake. Mmm. Mmm. Does that mean it's good? That means it's good. All right, Bill, I think this is another one of these amazing recipes. Where do people find your recipes if people want to get your Bacon Bill recipes? Well, I put a lot of them on Facebook. I'll, I'll put the photos on there. Now right. I know a new recipe. More at your leisure when we come back. Cheers. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows. Wild and high, and the stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Meet the new leader in off road utility, the completely reinvented Ranger XP 1000. It's got the most power the largest towing capacity, the highest ground clearance, and the best comfort and storage. Introducing the all-new Polaris Ranger XP 1000, the hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever built. RV, you can count on five things. A huge inventory of RVs, great service, a large variety of accessories. Now, two locations and 14 brands of toy haulers. From Vortex, Striker, Attitude, Powerlight, Highlander, Thunderbolt, Boost, Hyperlight, Nitro, Sandsport, Salem Cruise Light, Iconic, Cyclone, and Sandstorm. Paris RV, 4360 South State, and now 5545 South State, and online at parisrv.com. Paris RV is Utah's number one volume toy hauler dealer. Okay, so if we are doing the Paris RV Safari bucket list, I got to tell you that there's a hole in Brett and Dory's bucket. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> yeah, we're out here at Front Sight in Front, Nevada. It's this fantastic shooting range and they train and uh, they do just all kinds of stuff out here if you want to learn how to handle a gun and just be a better marksman. And these guys are killing it. Yeah, I mean, well, no pun intended, but they're doing a heck of a good job with all kinds of different types of guns. So as they make their way through the series, let's find out a little bit about the defensive training that you can get here at Front Sight. Front Sight really focuses on providing our students an entire experience. It's not just the firearms training. In fact, we approach our, our students with three goals in mind. And the first thing that they should expect is to be absolutely safe. We take extraordinary measures to make sure that our staff 
monitor every student closely, we head off safety issues before they become real dangerous threats, and we take the, the safety of our staff and guests very seriously. The second thing that we go for is to make sure that every person that comes here, whether they're a student, a staff, or a guest just visiting, has a phenomenal time. We want them to really enjoy the training experience, not just get fed with a fire hose of information. And then the third goal that we have is to feed them with a fire hose of information and to give them as much information as they can possibly uh, absorb during their visit. And for some people that, that might be very minimal and for others it, it might be a life-changing experience. But everybody takes away as much as they can and we provide that in abundance. The programs that we offer are the handgun curriculum, the practical rifle, which is basic marksmanship all the way up to advanced tactics. There is shotgun, and there is full auto submachine gun, Uzis. There is select fire M16s. We have empty hand self-defense. We have edged weapons defense. So if somebody's coming at you with a knife, we teach you how to handle that attack. We have the rope and rappel program. We have a child and youth program that takes uh, children from ages five through 15 and puts them through an age appropriate curriculum where they learn all kinds of things from desert safety to a little bit of firearms introduction and they get to play on the climbing wall and do all kinds of interesting things. In fact, my kids love it and that's, they keep going and keep going and keep going. But those are the, the core curricula that we offer. Yeah, there's not a lot out here. You know, you get past Las Vegas and there's not, not much to see until you get to Prump and then, you know, here we are, front sight. You know, I would say being out on the desert, uh, kind of isolated is the best place to have this type of training. Well, I learned how to shoot a fully automatic uh, Uzi. That was, that was quite the treat. Um, the other thing is with the, with the uh, training that they gave us, the tactical training, uh, you know, there's a lot, of, I mean, I've shot with guns a lot, but I didn't know the proper techniques or even some of the proper uh, verbiage. I really enjoyed learning uh, the proper technique of taking the weapon out of your holster, uh, racking the slide, and just acquiring your target and understanding uh, what you gotta do to make a good shot. My shot has greatly improved since I got here, that's for sure. Uh, I just, you know, before I, I'd go to the range and I'd just acquire the target, and pull the trigger, no, no uh, technical, uh, you know, style at all. And this was good training. got my concealed carry a permit um, up in Utah, and I have always been so timid about having and carrying a gun, even after I took the course. I just felt like I needed something like this. That is the biggest reason why I wanted to come here today, because I really feel like I needed more training behind a handgun. The machine gun was amazing. I was very scared of it at first, but then after the first couple of pulls on the trigger, I felt like I was very comfortable with behind that thing. So I was pleasantly surprised. I actually felt welcome from the very beginning. Um, I know, that, you know, they do carry weapons, but I'm not afraid of them. Um, they do this every day, and that's why I, I think I just felt so welcome. You can ask questions at any time. They want you to ask questions. They have the ropes course too. They have all kinds of stuff to do here. Um, you can spend a whole week here easily. You know, I think I would wanna continue with the pistol and handgun um, course and really take the whole thing. 
is what my goal would be. Um, I just want to be really comfortable with one if I ever decided to carry something like that. I just want to be prepared. Our whole family would want to come with us too because all of our kids love guns too. So <laughs> we could make it a family vacation. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're going to uh, have and own a, a, a gun, well, then you ought to have some sort of training like front sight. And I would love to bring my uh, our 25 and 22 year old boys back here and give them proper training because if you can own a firearm, you ought to, you ought to probably do something like this. This is definitely a bucket list must have. If you even think you might want to shoot a gun in your life, this would be a great way to start. Yeah, I would have always enjoyed doing something like coming to Front Sight. And, uh, you know, that's just one uh, check out of the bucket list. Move on to the next thing. Okay, we're waiting around here for uh, Paris's because they're training. So we're standing at the ropes and rappelling course. And when you're on the other side of the wall, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to rappel all the way into that canyon. But really, it's only a 10 foot wall. That's right, for your first <laughs> rappel, it is only 10 feet. It's really fun. Now, if any of the things you've seen in our story here uh, for the, the along the way about ropes and rappel, yeah or the guns or anything, you want to find out about coming down here and taking a class for yourself, it's frontsight.com, www.frontsight.com, S-I-G-H-T. Now, we have a lot more of our bucket list safari story, our show, and we'll get to that right after this commercial break. Living in Utah, we're lucky. We can enjoy riding our recreational vehicles year round, in the mountains, at the dunes, rock crawling, or road riding. Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, Yamaha, and Beta machines. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Need a tune-up, new tires, or accessories? Stedman's Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Buying event you've been waiting for. The Boat Show and Water Sports Expo, February 7th through the 10th. Great fun for the whole family. Watch wakeboard pros on the 300 foot rail jam. Buy the boat of your dreams with special show finance. Register to win a five day Alaskan fishing trip courtesy of RW Fishing. ABC for Utah and CW30 invite you to the Boat Show and Water Sports Expo, February 7th through the 10th at the Mountain America Expo. Tickets at UtahBoatShow.com. The Boat Show is here, better climb. You know, we're folks bound by traditions. Whether it's holiday time or vacation time, make sure that one of your traditions is a stop at the Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Delicious cheese direct from the factory, ice cream, tasty treats, crafts, and gifts of all kinds. And it's the perfect place to get a bowl of creamy mac and cheese. Start your new tradition the next time you're headed our way. The Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Farm, meat table. Conquer the summit and catch that ski doo feeling with the 2019 Ski Doo Mountain Sleds. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are continuing our Paris RV Safari bucket list, and we are in the Yellowstone Zip Line Adventure Park in beautiful Montana. And we are in for quite an adventure today. Oh boy, are we ever. Now, you know, you say, well, you guys have zip lined before, so I can't understand why it is that you would put this on your bucket list. But we've gone over lakes, we've gone through jungles, we've never crossed in a forest and zip lined across a river. And so that added to the bucket list. This is gonna be a doozy. It is. At Montana Whitewater, we offer rafting, zip lining, horseback riding, 
uh, fly fishing and river tubing. Our zipline course has two different options. Uh, one is a classic zip, it's three zips, three bridges and a 25 foot ladder. And then we have a super zip that's six zip lines, six bridges, a couple ladders and a cargo net. You have to have a bit of athletic ability to get up some of these ladders and stuff, but even if you, you know, it takes you a while, you're still belayed in, so it's okay. But there's some climbing, but it's fun. Kind of like a roller coaster. First it's really scary and then you feel like you're caught right on to the line and then it's normal and it feels safe. <laughs> we have amazing guides that can talk you into anything. Yes, they'll definitely help. Uh, definitely once you do it, then you get over your fears and it's really comfortable. Um, what's awesome about our zip line is you start with the shorter zip um, and it kind of makes you feel comfortable on um, on the zip course and then um, finally once you finish up you're on the longer zip lines and you feel a lot more comfortable and you can actually enjoy the view. This area is awesome. The Gallatin Canyon is gorgeous. Um, you get canyon views. Um, what's really nice about the zip line is it's right next to Sheep Rock which is really cool. They love the bridges. Um, they love the adventure elements that are on there. Um, they love the area. Whoa, that was a lot of fun. I wanted to get my feet wet though, maybe at flood stage. People think that they're actually going into the river. Um, when we say you're zipping across the river that they could potentially touch it. Unfortunately, the river isn't high enough, but um, it's a really cool aspect. Um, there's not many people that can do that just because a lot of people don't own the properties across from the zip courses. So it's a very unique feature. All right, everybody, last sip of the day over the river and through the woods. Let's take a look at next week's show. For next week's show, we are heading down to Hurricane for the Winter 4x4 Jamboree, one of our favorite four-wheeling events of the year. After that, we go somewhere a little surprising, the old Montana prison complex, which holds five museums, and we pick the top two. And a far jump from Montana, Reese Stein shows us an adventure of his own in Lithuania, and we promise you won't want to miss this. Now it's time to check our sticker winner. This week's winner is Austin Stout, who submitted this picture through Facebook. Austin is the winner of a $400 RyFab gift certificate. Congrats, Austin. What a great gift from RyFab. They're fantastic. And if you're wondering where to find us, here's a sneak preview of our calendar of events. On January 26th, we will be at Fish Lake for Jorgensen's Winterfest. I can't wait for that one. We will also be at the Boat Show the second weekend of February and the RV Show the following weekend. We hope to see y'all there. <sighs> What a day. <laughs> a wonderful day. It has. I tell you, Brett and Dory just wore us out. Yeah, and those little rascals can move. That's true. <laughs> well, I can tell it's the end of the day because uh, Rhea's heat-seeking feet have made their way to mine. Yes, every night. <laughs> Thank goodness you're around. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to just drift off into slumberland right now and dream of next week's adventures. We continue our RV safari. So remember, there's adventure around every bend. You just gotta get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your leisure. leisure. Yeah. You gotta go now, so on the way out, would you do me a favor and shut out the light? Thank you. Good night. Nighty Good night. Night, night. Good night, John boy. <laughs> Good night, Mary Lou.